hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how to install Kali Linux version 2024.4 on the new VirtualBox now I have VirtualBox open and if you look at the top left the icon has changed so this is the new version and this is what we're going to be using to install the new version of Kali Linux so the latest version is 2024.4 we'll need to download the ISO image so open a browser and search for Kali Linux download and then go to kalilinux.org and then once you're on the site click on the installer image option and then you want to download this so you'll need to click here to download the installer the file size is about 4 GB and that could take a while to download now I already downloaded the ISO image so I'm just gonna minimize this once you have that download it you can get back to VirtualBox and create your virtual machine so click on new and then name your virtual machine let me call it Kali 2024.4 this is the default installation folder I'm gonna leave that as that and then I'm not gonna select the ISO image right now the type is gonna be Linux uh, let's go with Debian Debian 64 bit is fine. Unattended, we're not doing an attended install hardware. This is the default size. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna increase this to two CPUs, hard disk. Uh, let me increase this to 40. And that should be it. I'll click finish. Finish. Now I can go to settings again. And here I just wanna go to storage click on empty here and then click on this to attach so choose a disk file then select your ISO image that you down that you just downloaded as you can see the version is 2024.4 so click open now it's attached and you can go through the list of the settings here and uh, make whatever changes you want let me remove this floppy and what else I'm just gonna Change this to bridge adapter. Um, I'm gonna leave everything else as default here. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna right click on the virtual machine. Start normal start. And uh, this is what we're getting. Graphical install is what we're gonna go with. So I'll press enter here. Let me go ahead and minimize this. And the language here is English. I'll click continue. Let's see if I can increase the size here. Location. I'll go to the default. Continue. Keyboard. English. Continue. And it's and it's loading some components here. So I'm going to be pausing the video every now and then and I'll be coming back anytime we need to input something. So let me pause the video here. Okay, on this window we need to enter hostname for the system. I'm just going to go with the default here, Kali. Click continue. You can put in a domain if you want. So you can put a domain name here. Now continue. can put the full name of the user I'm gonna just put Eno here continue you need a username again I'll just leave it as Eno continue you need a password for the new user and then continue So I'm going with the default here as far as the time zone, Eastern, continue. And then I'm gonna pause the video again. Here we'll say guided, use entire disk, continue. Continue. 
continue okay finish partitioning and write changes to disk yes continue go with yes to write changes to disk continue and it's installing the base system okay here you can select the software that you want I'm gonna go with the defaults I'll click continue here so at this point it's installing uh, grab so it's asking if you want to install grab bootloader to the primary drive I'll go with yes here I'll click continue and I'm gonna go with the second option here click continue and it's saying that it's finishing the installation so the ins installation should finish here shortly so as you can see here the installation is complete all you have to do now is do a reboot click, we'll click on continue here So it's booting back up. And there is the login screen. So you can put in whatever username you created and your password. There you have it. We are logged into Kali Linux 2024.4. We can open the terminal. Control O T. Yes. Um, increase the font size here. References. Appearance font. Change this to 15. Apply. OK. Uh, let's check the version here. We'll do a cut. See, OS release, and that version is 2024.4. You can also do your name dash all to see more information. You can check your IP address. I have a valid IP, and you can also check internet connectivity if you want. So you just open Firefox and you can try going to a site like uh, YouTube and I'm able to get to YouTube. That's pretty much it. That's how you can install Kali Linux 2024.4 on the new VirtualBox. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.